So GM has made a bunch of announcements this week regarding EVs. First, a statement from GM's Executive Vice President of Product Development, Doug Parks. If you look at all the forecasts, the estimates generally, the demand is kind of potentially being forecast to pick up. Well, we think the industry is transforming, and so we want to be at the leading edge of this. So GM says that they will raise their spending on EVs from the $20 billion that they had earlier planned to $27 billion through 2025. Now, I just want to stop you there because $27 billion sounds like a lot of money, but that's spread out over five years, so it's not as big as it sounds. And GM now plans on 30 new EV models by 2025. Yeah, I mean, they're headed up by a new CEO. What, what about Mary Barra? She's out? No, she's she's the CEO. I'm talking about the CEVO, the new chief EV officer, Travis Hester. So, I mean, you've got to really get that one right. C-E-V-O. Can you imagine like, uh, you know, the secretary goes into Mary Barra's office and she's like, uh, Ms. Barra, uh, the new CEO is here. What do you mean the new CEO? I'm the CEO. No, uh, the, the CEO, the, the C-E-V-O. Sorry, 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 C-E-V-O. Okay, well, you're fired. <laughs> Park also announced that they're developing a new battery tech that's going on in their Detroit labs, and it will yield batteries that hold twice as much as the current Bolt batteries and will cost 60% less. We'll learn it, we'll perfect it, we'll scale it, and we'll ride that cost curve down, Park said. A little late to start doing that since Tesla's already done that and eating their lunch. Now, I want to just get back to one thing real quick. They want to have 30 EV models by 2025. Yeah, CEO Mary Barra said that GM should exceed its previous target of selling 1 million EVs by 2025. Okay, but Tesla is going to be producing a million EVs next year, most likely. By yeah. 2025, I mean, they're going to have at least four gigafactories mm -hmm. up and running. Yeah. They could easily be producing over 4 million cars per year, and they're all going to be EVs by the year 2025. So they're going to be quadrupling what GM is able to do. Yeah. Again, this is just like the VW story. All these companies had said that they were ahead of Tesla. They had Tesla killers. And then we all knew, we, we told you this years ago that that was not true. And now as we hit 2020, we said this was the magical year, right? Where all this stuff was going to fall apart. It's fallen apart. They don't have any of the things they said they'd have by 2020. Now they're coming out with New Year's. Uh, 2025. Right. Well, I, you know, you had this analogy for the longest time, this, this, uh, they're like a wolf caught in a bear trap and they need to chew off their own leg. I think that that analogy is over. The new analogy for me mm -hmm. is that they are lobsters in the pot, just realizing that, is it getting warmer in here? That's where they are. They're, it's, it's, it's too late. I really think that it's too late. They're I don't know if it's too late, Jesse, because GM unveiled this. <laughs> what is it? Altify. Uh, what? Altify? What about Altium? They just had their Altium yeah, batteries. Yeah, they have the Altium batteries, and this is Altify. So they're going to Altify things with their Altium batteries? Yes. Doesn't that sound good? It, doesn't that sound amazing? It sounds... You know, so, so check this out. This is going to make it easier for people to buy EVs. See, it says here you just have an online experience. You don't have to you know, like sit there for hours with the financing guy and the sales guy. Yeah, huh? yeah. One, one, one thing here. Yeah. It's only for GM electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. So only if you're buying a GM electric vehicle will you be able to buy online. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to go down to the dealership and get like the new Malibu or the Silverado, you still have to go to the dealership, mm -hmm. sit there for five hours, wait for your, you know, your salesman to go back to the finance guy and come back and right. say like, oh, oh, this offer's only valid today. Oh, hey. um, you still have to do all that rigmarole. But if you buy an EV, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to skip all that? Yeah. I mean, basically, they're admitting that their current dealer network is completely awful and that they have to compete with Tesla's online purchase experience. So they're basically saying, OK, no, we're, we're going to split, split our customers. Our customers. Those, those of you who are used, used to the crap, crap you, you just, just keep, keep doing, doing the crap. crap. But those, but those of, of you who know, know that Tesla's, Tesla's out there, out there uh, come, come with us. I think that it's smart on one sense. It, it makes the EV buying process easier, which I am all for. From a business sense for GM, I think that it's kind of dumb because... It's just going to push everyone to wanting to buy EVs. And then as soon as they're, as soon as the demand is there of like, I didn't want to go to the dealership this time and I wanted an EV because I heard good things about the online experience. Wouldn't people just start kind of migrating over to bu only buying EVs? And then when they ran out of EVs to sell, they would just go to Tesla? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to take our word for it. Doug Parks pretty much said it himself. We don't want to just participate. We want to lead. Tesla's got a good jump and they've done great things. And so they're formidable competitors. There's a lot of startups and everyone else invading the space. And we're not going to secede leadership there. 
And so to just translate that quote, he's basically saying there, Tesla has leapfrogged us while we were complacent. However, now that we're behind, we're going to make a lot of noise about catching up. So not, not looking too good for, for old GM there. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Mondays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below to head over to the Now You Know channel.